To gain better insight about your company and further analyse your data, you can set up and use analysis types. From the menu bar, select Settings. Then from the Financial Settings section, select Analysis Types. There are two categories for analysis. Transaction Analysis, you'd use this to break down your income and expenditure, and use Group Analysis to segment your records such as customers and products. Starting with Transaction Analysis, there are three areas to customise, Department, Cost Center and Project. If these labels aren't best suited to your business, you can change them using the pencil icon and typing the appropriate name. To change the code and the name for each category you want to use, select the existing information and type in the required details. To delete a category, use the delete icon to the left of the code. After personalising the codes and names, select the areas from the list below that the analysis types are to be active in. To confirm and set any changes that you've made on this page, from the bottom right, click Save. This is the same process for Cost Centre and Project under the Transaction Analysis heading, as well as all areas in the Group Analysis heading. To allocate a Group Analysis category to a record, go to the relevant contact or product record, select Options, and in the Analysis section, using the pencil icon, choose the relevant category. For products, this is done by editing the record, and under Additional Information, choosing the group. You can select the transaction category when entering invoices, as well as bank receipts and payments. This information will then be available on reports when filtered by analysis type. The following reports can be filtered by analysis type. The profit and loss and nominal activity can be filtered by transaction analysis. And the age debtors and age creditors reports can be filtered by group analysis. For further information and in-depth courses, visit Sage University at sageu.com. If you have any questions or need guidance, visit the Sage Support Resource Centre at sage.com forward slash resources, where you can ask the community, search the knowledge base, or get in touch with us by chat.